Kling AR has just released their 1.5 model and it's the best image to AR video generator that I've used so far. In this video, I'll go through the pricing plan, how many credits it takes to make these sort of short videos, and I'll compare it with Runway's Gen 3 Alpha's pricing plan as well. Stay tuned. <music> Three generators I'm going to go through today are Kling AI. I'm going to go through Picker and I'm going to go through One Way ML, which is the Mac Davity of AR generators. Uh, so the first one, Kling, this is a Chinese company. So if you're not comfortable sharing your credit card with a Chinese company, this is probably not the one for you. In terms of the unlimited use, there's no unlimited option available for Kling. There's a $0 free plan, which I do not recommend because most of your video genera generations are going to be stuck on 99% because of how many people are using this platform and some of them just never finish. So the free plan, you can actually just ignore this. This probably can be taken away. It's a misnomer. So only option then is the standard. The standard is very appealing it's the one that i bought so it's around 80 bucks a year as opposed to some of the other ones which offer a monthly rate so this is 80 dollars for the whole year and you get 666 credits per month it generally takes around 35 credits to produce five seconds of video on the 1.5 model now take into account that this is a yearly plan and ai does change every week so if for some reason you don't like cling or there's another better service available, you are locked in and you paid for the whole year. So just take that into account. I personally don't think these three that I'm talking about, Kling AI, Picker and Runway are going anywhere. They are at the top of the list. And I would say they're probably the most used and the premium, most premium of uh, AI generators out there today. There are some other features here, which is goes up in cost, increases the credits. But as I said, no unlimited option available. One thing to note is you can actually remove the watermarks from the videos themselves. I'll show you how to do that. It's really quick and easy, but it's available in this plan, which is, I thought, really, really good value for money. So if I hover over this, it's 666 credits. It's 3,300 images and 66 standard mode videos. So as I said, the, there's not a lot of content you can create. I'll burn through my 660 credits in one day, making the video that's on my channel called Street Fighter 2. So if you are looking for some of these plans, I would probably recommend you go with an unlimited plan, which costs quite a, a bit more. So if I looked at, let's go over Runway. Runway obviously is the one that you've seen mostly on YouTube and it's actually going viral at the moment with these Panavision 70 videos that you see made in Runway ML with Midjourney as the image generator. But in terms of the costing breakdown, there's a 12 buck plan, which I'm guessing you'll probably burn through these quite quickly, allows you to do 125 image generation so this is really just a basic plan this one is probably the best one which is unlimited video generations there is obviously a relaxed mode which allows you to do unlimited but i'm not sure on what the speed of this is i haven't tested it myself there is the credit version of this where it's a lot faster and credits there is also picker labs so this over here the yearly cost is 912 and then picker labs is unlimited for 336 so there's quite a big price difference between this one 912 versus picker which is 336 so in terms of the image quality i'll just show you guys how i did this so basically what i did was i used a comfy ui to generate the images using flux so i'll just load that up and show you exactly what i did the flux model flow here you put this prompt in and you can generate four images so i might just this is the model over here it's 1.5 now i recommend using this as opposed to the 1.0 the 1.5 is way better text to video i think you can just ignore that and just go straight to image to video so image to video just to give you an example would paste your image over here and stick that in and then 
this is what you would say. So this is the subject in the middle with the camera moving right and zooming in while the subject looking directly at the camera. There is a guide uh, that's available if you click on your profile profile thing and you go to best practices there's actually a guide available where you can go and check out best way to prompt the best success i had was when i said the camera moving right and zooming in while the subject looking directly at the camera which produced really good results here's another one subject laughs then looks up at the camera while the camera zooms in Here's another one. Male subject looks up at the camera while the camera writes and zooms in. Now, just take take note that these are all one takes. They I didn't actually have multiple takes with this, which is mind blowing. Now, obviously, this takes 35 credits. I've only got 660, so you can pretty much burn through it very, very quickly. So here's another one, but some warping here. So if there's other characters in the video, there's some weird stuff happening with the hands. So what I find is really good is if it's just one subject this on the screen itself got very good results. Uh, as soon as I had another person in the, in the shots, it got really, really hard. Uh, here's another one. I thought this one was really cool. Now to download, you can download without the watermark as well. If you select it, here's another one. A guy walking, which was pretty cool. Now these are, this is I think this is with the 1.0 so you can see the differences here check at his face and then look how warped it is and then this is 1.5 look how much better that is you can see the quality is so much better with 1.5 so this one is one it's just really really bad 1.5 is the way to go here's another one of a guy walking i thought this quality this was pretty good just like walking towards the camera and then this was just a really random person there. Here's another one. You can see is something weird happening there. So some minor uh, defects. You can see a hand coming out the back there. But uh, overall, the quality is uh, on first takes. Most of these were first takes. You can see here, I said putting on the sunglasses and then he puts on sunglasses, taking off the sunglasses. It didn't get that right. And here's another one with hands. And five a fire lighting up his fists which i thought were pretty cool here's one with Ryu just doing they don't do boxing that well I'm, no one really hits like that uh, that's a really strange thing more with subject squatting just trying to work out some range of motion here so this one is different i actually gave it a start frame and then an end frame you can see here subject squatting so it takes this one and then makes her what's from the other one so you can see that some more there's some other ones for walking you can see the face is kind of warped i think i used 1.0 with here and similar things that i did i tested arts runway ml which i was super impressed with here's an example of as well i did with uh, with runway and i thought this one was really good i was doing uh and Shun Li, so that was really cool. Let's check it out. If you have any questions, post them. Tell me which generating model that you used. I don't think there's anything available in open source that can do this right now, so you have to pay for it. I wish there was. It's obviously, it's fairly quick to generate as well. And uh, until next time, catch up. Okay, if you got this far, there is another one called Minimax. It's completely free. And these are the video type of qualities you can expect from it. So check that out if you are a freebie lover.